Welcome back to segment nine of my building the Black Pearl, the CHL version. As you can tell, I've made some pretty good progress, still real happy with everything. And I do some extras on my own that not, are not in the kit, these little uh, nails in here. The kit does come with some nails and maybe that's what they're for, but I haven't seen it in the instructions. Uh, so there are some things that you can do on your own to make little improvements such as that, uh, I'll make some cargo that, that doesn't come with the kit. But it is very inclusive. I'm real impressed and at the end of this video I'll show you a little bit of what's coming in the future on my build and it'll show you some of the, uh, the equipment that comes with it. Um, so far I haven't really had to spend any money. These I had on from previous builds and I did order some more because I ran out of about four short. But other than that, I've had everything that I need. So let me go into a little more detail in the rest of the video on how I got to this point. I don't think you'll be able to see this on camera, but while planking, because I've planked this entire side and the upper part and the upper part on this portion. And when I got into here, there was there's a lump. So you can see where I've started filing that off. And then right in here, there's a dip, fairly serious dip. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up and I'm going to remud that right there. As you can see, I did uh, mud this in again and I have it sanded off. It's nice and smooth now. And I've gone ahead and put one plank that's going under the bottom here and it's going to go all the way to the back. I've not glued it back here yet. And on this other side, I did several from this direction before I started doing every other. So I'll have to continue that same pattern on this side and then eventually I'll do one here and one from the top. Trying something I've never done before, I just glued and, well, I should say, I cut and glued these three pieces but I've not attached them yet. Then I can put more of a layer of the wood glue down and try that for a while. But like I've said in the past, I use uh, the CA glue most of the time. Now I'm to the point where I will start alternating, do one around this direction and then one this direction. I'll be the first to admit that I'm not the uh, world's greatest at planking and it takes me a long time. I've been working on this for weeks, but I thought it would be a good idea to show you how I end up finishing because there's all kinds of ways to do planking and measuring and things that I just don't have the mental ability to do that. So when I get to this point, and actually all through it, I will lay the plank that is going to be next. And I know it's almost impossible to see, but the very corner is where I will have the furthest point and then Right here, there's a point where it intersects with the plank coming up from the bottom, and I can mark that. And then, go from that corner to that mark with some sort of a cutting device. And then, test fit it. This one I'm off just a little bit, it needs to, a little more of a slant. And I use a whole multitude of different ways to do this. I use files and sandpaper and clippers. Okay, so now that does fit. But now I will take and glue just the, this portion of it. Now I'll let that set up a little bit and this one I glued earlier so now I will continue with gluing that one. A couple more things that I'll mention. The uh, maker does supply a plentiful amount of the black walnut. You can see I have, I don't know, probably two dozen left at least and I probably only need five or six more. But within the grouping, every once in a while, there'll be a piece or two, and I know this won't show, 
but there's a little dip in it here. I think it's like a knot in the wood or something. So I will cut that out and use the small pieces, but I don't use that for one of these that goes all the way across. So you might just feel them before you put them on and make sure you don't have one of those that's slightly defective. Still usable, you just cut out that piece and use the shorter pieces. That being said, let me continue and finish the planking. And then I'm probably going to put little pieces in where all the cannon ports are. Now I still have to cut these out so that there's not a kind of a plywood layered look. Now this will have a covering on it, but I'm talking about the sides and the bottoms of the openings for the cannons. I may have mentioned this before, but once I get pieces cut and after they've been stained on the edge, because it may show up lighter colored, I'll take a black marker and just cover where that cut was. As you can see, I put the planking in where the cannon ports are. And now all I have to do is go back and cut these off right at the top. It was important to glue the bottom one in first and then the two sides, that way it covers the, the uh, edge. Here's the outside view. So now there's a little edge. You can see it's a little darker right there. So I need to take that edge off. After it fully dries, I'll either take a file or I'll come back with my pen knife and slice those off. Gonna wait till it's dry though. So the planking is finished. And now I'll give it a light sand and then I'll give another coat of stain. I was given several strips of black walnut from a master craftsman that happens to live next door to my son. And it's black walnut. And when I put this strip on top, you probably can't see it, but there's actually a seam right there. So I'm going to take a small piece of this and cut it to fit and get a solid piece of black walnut across there instead of having that little seam. I know that's minor. I took some of the oak that I was given, the uh, black oak, and I actually did this support and covered the bow of the ship that and I've got it glued I've got it sanded and then I gave a light sanding to the entire ship so you can see now some of the stain is gone so it's ready for its final coat of stain and that's what I will do next the instructions don't necessarily say to put the black walnut in here but uh, it implies it in some of the photographs you can see it. I'm still undecided on the lower portions. I may just put the bottom piece in. It also doesn't specifically mention putting anything on here, but it is just the raw wood. And it shows some pictures where they used planking on here, and there's plenty of the black walnut to do that. I just used a solid piece. Same thing with this little portion here. You should put some black walnut on that. One thing I could have done differently is I could have put the outer strip on first and then had this larger piece cover that up. So that uh, is something you might want to consider if you choose to do that. Bending was done using the, the uh, plank bender and you can see here's a real tight one. This I did on the very top. This is all the black walnut that's thicker that I was given. This is what came with the kit. 
and you just get it wet and then bend it around the small part of the plank bender to get that little top edge on there. So here she is with that coat of stain and I will let this dry minimally probably 16 to 24 hours. Part 29 there are three of these thicker uh, planking boards and there'll be a single strip that will start approximately here and go all the way to the back of the ship on both sides. And then there's a small part that goes um, at a point right about here, back towards this corner of the ship. So I'll get that in place. Then 30, it's a very similar in size uh, timber. And there are five, and they go lower on the ship. And they twin each other, so they'll come from the front all the way to the back, these two boards. So let me get started on getting these stained, and uh, I'll, I'll have to do some bending on it and get them put on the ship. This is part 29, and the thing to pay attention to here is if you're going to nail some brass nails, make sure that it's below the deck where the nailing point is. And on the instructions, if you look, it does have a dip. It dips down and then goes back up. So I put one on this end, one on the center, one on that end. Now I'll go in, I'll lift this out a little bit, put in some CA glue, and then tap in all the rest of these uh, little brass nails that I'm gonna go ahead and put on them. Just wanna make note, these nails do not come with the ship. And in a previous model, I used this type. And I'm really reconsidering because this has a much better look than just that little brass tip. But I will have to order these because I'm almost out. What I'm in the process now is trying to determine where A33, how it's placed. And you have to look at other parts to get the angles. You can see this piece here, which is D1, and it kind of lines up with that. It does not line up with this. And these side rails go slightly underneath it. A33, you have, anytime you have an A or a, a lettered um, part, you have to find the sheet that is marked A, which is here, and it is also here. This is marked A, but the parts are not marked. So you go over to the uh, instruction sheet, and it's A33. So it's those pieces right there, which I've already popped out, sanded the edges, touched them up with the black magic marker, and now it's to determine how they go on the ship. I brought over part D1, which is some lattice work that'll go here. It's the bottom section. Clipped it on the front, taped it on the back. That gives me the angle that I want for A33. Goes in with a curved, small curved side towards the ship and then a triangular piece towards the back. And then it kind of will match then you'll kind of match the angle of that D1. In addition to that, what you have to pay attention to is when you take part 30, you want to make sure you're below the lowest window by about one plank. So you have to tie that in to that also. Now I've turned the ship upside down I've taped it approximately where it's gonna go, like I said, about one plank below the 
lowest cannon port. And now I want to come around, and I've done that on both sides. This one I've glued the end. Now I'm gonna put this and match it up to that front one and glue the front in place, and then I'll work my way to the back. I now have these side rails in place. I did switch to the nails that have a nicer uh, round end. However, I did run out, so I've got some pre-drilled holes here. So I'm just about five short, four or five short. And then on the lower segment, and on both segments, the ship is too long to do it in one strip. So you're gonna have to have a seam. Some people may want it towards the front and the center. I just went ahead and put them both at the back. And if you look close, you can see there's a seam right there. One there, I did use one brad there to hold this in because of the curvature. So I may end up adding a few more. I don't think I'll do it as often as this. Maybe one every two inches or so. So that'll be featured in a, in a future segment. And what ended up being kind of nice, I kind of ran these then together at the front. And this is kind of where my seam was, where all these timbers came together and it kind of covered that pretty nicely. So I'm pretty happy with that. I have not put that uh, triangular piece in here yet. And I've left this off, there's some Oh, skirting, I don't know what, what you call it, here on the bow. And it's going to tie in up here, and I may end up uh, cutting this at an angle or something. So I just stopped. I didn't put the piece all the way out to the end yet. So that's to come in the future. I've decided I'm going to maybe use a little filler. You can see there's a little crack right there. I may use a little filler for that. This is that black walnut that I put on on my own. The instructions don't necessarily state to put planking wood on here, but it definitely shows it in all the pictures that this has the black walnut planks like through here on all of this. I just did a solid piece. That was just my personal choice. There'll be some other things that you'll want to do. I've started putting some trim here. There was kind of an ugly edge there, kind of like down here. See where that little notched Part is I'm going to cover that with a piece of trim just like I did the top of it. Just haven't gotten to that yet. So I think that's pretty much it for now and uh, I'm hesitating putting on my tongue oil. I think I will put it on from this point down just to let it start drying. But I want to make sure I have the color right because once you do that, you can no longer stain. So I may add another coat to this. I may, uh, like I said, some filler in there. I may put some darkening agents in where you can see those white marks at an angle. But when the ship is like this, you can't see that. But I may drip some stain or brush some stain into that crack. The other thing I was very happy with is they've included things like the hinges for the back rudder are made out of this brass and some of these things this actually looks like it would be for rigging because it has holes in it. I'm not sure yet but we'll see and then just some nice uh, brass appointments and things that will go different places on the ship so that will be to come that'll be the fun part of building this ship I've got some additional windows. I'm not sure where those would have gone, but I'm happy to have them. Pretty happy with where I'm at so far. And this part is actually fun. I enjoy doing it because you're actually making small things to go on the ship. And that includes the cannons. I'm looking forward to the cannons. There's the bases and the wheels. And let me go into this part. This goes on the back of the ship. Then you have plenty of all the ringing supports and line supports, the statues, two different types of cannons. These will be made that will go on the cannon bases with the wheels. And then these are the ones that are kind of faked and they're cone shaped. 
and they will fit in the ship. I think I've shown this before, but let's go ahead and show it again. You can see them and see those holes. And then that cone fits right in that hole. I'll end up painting these black. There's enough for every opening on the ship. These are the statues that go on the back. These are steps to go up the side of the ship. Railings for the stair rail. And then I haven't shown, and I'll show later, but the front statue that goes on the ship is in that box. Well, well insulated and secure. The statues, just like the lamps, I will do that gold leaf that is 23 karat gold. And I've had these painted for a few weeks now. There's no tarnishing happening. What I will do with uh, both this piece this, and all the statues, I will spray paint them flat black and then I'll put the gold leaf over it. So that's it for segment nine. And I know I said early on that I would finish this project in the summer and I can already tell there is no way. There is a lot of detail work coming up in the upcoming episodes. Plus, I'm going to be traveling for the next couple weeks anyway, so that's going to slow me down some. So bear with me. I will be back with episode 10 and um, some encouraging things about the all the rope work that is done and the information that comes with the ship. You get this instruction booklet, but then you also get some large scale like blueprint maps, at least two pages of the rope work. So that will be something to look forward to, as well as finally starting to put together some of the things that go on top deck. This is Boiler Dan 1 saying thanks for watching.